is going on youtube family it's your girl right back to you guys with a another video today i'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different for my channel i'm going to show you guys how to achieve this super cute nail look for only 13 dollars yes i'm not kidding with you guys only cost me 13 dollars for this entire set so i'm going to show you guys what you're going to need i went to sally's beauty and i got this glue here i've never tried it before but it was like six bucks if not you can always use this kiss glue uh that's for four dollars not bad at all and on amazon i went and got the e -ba ec basket full of nails it's 500 pieces for six dollars it came in either the bag form which is refillable or this organized container here you're also going to need a dollar worth of sorry guys <laughs> a dollar worth of nail polish remover doesn't matter which one nail clips to cut your nails if you want an emery board or a nail file however you like to say it and you're also going to need or not really required some cuticle cutters so first thing i do is i go ahead and wipe down my nail bed with the nail polish remover just remove any other polish that i had on it prior as well as possibly some glue that i had on there from other set of nails then i'm going to file it down not too much just to make sure the surface is not oily because if anything that's oily on your fingers the glue itself will not stick therefore the nails will not stick therefore the whole thing would just be a waste of money so you're going to go ahead and fit your nails to size find out which size fits you best I'm going to go ahead and use the Sally's Beauty glue that I've um, bought. I, again, I've never used it before, but I wanted to give it a shot because I've already tried the Kiss and it lasts a quite amount of good time, a, a nice little amount of time. But this one here, I just wanted to give it a shot and see how it worked for my nails. So I'm going to go ahead and fit size every nail and then we're going to get into painting later. Just to let you guys know, this glue actually will stick to your finger within three seconds. All you have to do is put it on the nail, sit it on your finger, make sure you press down pretty good amount of force, three seconds, and it's done. It's already glued to your finger. You may want to wait maybe five seconds, that's absolute max, but once you firmly press it onto your finger, it's done. Also, make sure that when you are putting the glue onto the fake nail that you are putting it onto the edges um, as well as completely around the bottom half so that it will stick to your nail bed firmly so it won't start lifting on the sides. And also make sure you put some in the middle because sometimes you have those little bubbles in the middle. We don't really like them so make sure it's enough glue there and press really really firm but make sure not to break the nail. So I thought about cutting the nail, but then I was like, no, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them long because I always go for the short look and my fingers are already short as it is. So it's just cute if you just go longer. I'm going to also go ahead and file down the ends of the nails because they do come with a little white piece that sticks out. And it's just best if you file it down and just get it completely off because it can snag on your hair and snag on clothes and you could definitely chip your nails that way. So now I'm going to take my favorite OPI colors, um, this cute little pink color, I love this, as well as a glitter color because it's always cute to have an accent nail, no matter what look you're going with. So of course you have to shake up your OPI, make sure that everything is all mixed up very, very well, make sure that they're sticking to the bottom and make sure everything is just ready to go. Open them both up so that you won't have to struggle with it while your nails are completely wet from doing each nail at a time. And... Just go ahead and just make sure that you are being very, very careful with this process. This process is the hardest. I know some people just can't 
paint their nails like with using the opposite hand but just have very nice long strokes and make sure you have enough polish on the brush so that when you are in mid stroke it won't just like run out So as you guys can see, I did both hands already. I'm just going back in for a second coat because you just want to just make sure that all those little clear pieces of that nail is covered completely and make sure that you didn't miss any spots, smudges, anything. You just want to get all the imperfections out with the second coat. So now both hands are completely done with the second coat. This is what they're looking like. No smudges, just very, very careful planning, especially when you're painting. So I'm gonna go in and do my accent finger, which is gonna be the index finger. Everyone wants to do the ring finger, middle finger, whatever you choose, your prerogative, but I wanted to go with the index finger this time and just put it over the pink. I did not want it to just be completely glitter itself. I wanted some peak underneath, so. This is what I went with and you have to make sure that you're not really gliding too much on the nail because you don't want to ruin the pink underneath and you don't want it to become clumpy. So for the most part, you just want to tap and be very, very gentle with the accent finger. Just be very, very gentle and just get it to your liking. It wasn't enough glitter for me, so I went in with a second coat of glitter because it just wasn't blinging enough for me. So just be very, very careful, you know, be very gentle and just tap it if you can just to make sure you get enough on that finger. So the nails are done guys. I spent little to nothing on these nails. That whole piece or the whole package that I bought from Amazon comes with 500 pieces. That about, that's about 50 manicures in your possession at all times. And this is just so easy. I never go to the nail shop. My nails are done. My hands look cute. I love the way they came out and I am super happy with the results.